Screencasting is a very easy and effective way to get both video and audio file in a very simple and effective way. So these are the softwares that I use. There are two main softwares, um, ScreenFlow, which is only for Mac, Screencasting and Video Editing Software, all in one. Very, very nice um, platform to work with. And you have Snagit and Camtasia Studio. Um, Camtasia is both for Mac and for PC. And this is what I'm using right now to record this. As soon as I'm finished recording this presentation, it pops up and it, it gives me the option to edit. All I do, I don't do much editing at all. All I do, I cut off the beginning because, of course, you have your mistakes and then you have some dead space. And I cut off the end. And that's it. That's it. I just cut it off. Then I press convert or export to the video file format that I want. And if I need the audio, I will say click export to MP3 or wave file and there I have my information voila so you set up a camera on a tripod and you pretty much record yourself training teaching so forth or if you have a guest you can do interview but here are two simple other softwares that you can use you have on your iPad the ability to download video teleprompter or prompt smart these are two teleprompters um, that I have on my stuff as well and you simply put your script on there Let's say you have some points that you want to teach on. You can put your seven points to losing weight. You put those on there. You set the time, you know, fast, slow, however you, you speak. And then it will bring those up slowly as you begin to speak and it records you. Bam! When the recording is finished, bam! You export it again, this video file format that you want or the audio format that you want. So you can use Skype. With Skype, there is a software called Pamela. Pamela for Skype when you get these you now are able to now record your video interviews from skype and you can put them online and this will become your course also ecamm ecamm ecamm.com with two m's e c a m m if you can download call recorder and for facetime and call recorder for skype these are two softwares i have both of them they work flawlessly they're great they are awesome so it allows you especially to have the split screen where you have two speakers at the same time and you can see the dialogue taking place it is really really wonderful if you look at a lot of Michael Hyatt's um, interviews and podcasts that he used to do most of these this was the way he was doing it so again these are very very cheap very affordable go ahead and invest in one or, or both of them but you don't need both but again they all do the same thing so in other words you don't have to even come out of pocket and with heavy investments per se to do these things yourself if you uh, like me where pretty much hey I just do one take two takes maximum you know I got to do a lot of editing because I just want to get the information to you then you can do it all yourself and afterwards like you said you edit it in Camtasia or ScreenFlow and even on your Mac I mean we have free softwares as well so don't feel you can't use the free stuff because your Mac comes with iMovies which is awesome a lot of the young folks use <laughs> iMovies which is free on your iPad or your Mac whatever you have right and then for you have uh, Windows uh, media player Windows um, movie editor or movie maker you can use those as well on the PC and those are all free so don't feel you have to go and spend a whole lot of money to do these things audacity is a free software that you can download and put on your um, computer and it will now edit the audio files and the audio um, trainings or recording that you have right now i'm actually speaking to you with the road podcaster that's the tall white one on the screen here so i'm using the road podcaster right now so the two that i use are both the podcaster and also you have the blue yeti on the left below audacity so these are the two that I predominantly use. I like both of them. I use mainly the Blue Yeti. I use this one most. For some of the interviews that I've done for the online course and for my project, I was able to use Rev.com. You just go and download the app, right? Download it on your iPad and you record it as soon as you record it you save it and then you can click this little button on the bottom and just send it immediately you create an account of course and you send it immediately to rev.com to be transcribed how cool is that so you can go in your um, your app store and just download rev.com uh, this is how it looks you see the logo there rev if you download it it's free then you can just save all your audio files and you send them out to be transcribed. Okay.